characteristic of that program music, as we mentioned with Beethoven, was the idea of thematic unity, where there is a theme that comes back and is transformed that guides the listener through a larger piece of music to help tell the story in lieu of commonly accepted forms that people expect and know what to know what to, is going to come next. We'll see how Berlioz uses that idea of thematic unity much more than even than even Beethoven. Um, and this piece combines four of Berlioz's favorite things, not necessarily in this order, um, but the symphonies of Beethoven, Shakespeare and Harriet Smithson, opera, and himself, and wraps them all up in together into this into this piece of uh, orchestra music. Before we dive into the specifics of the symphony of this evening, I'd like us to start with just the first opening bars of the Pastoral Symphony, which we heard last week, and then compare that to just the opening few moments of the Symphony Fantastique. And what I would ask you is how they strike you as different. How do they contrast? How do they? How does it feel different um, from what Beethoven was doing to what Berlioz um, was trying to do? <laughs> Again, being those harmonies that create tension and demand resolution. Anything else? Yes. I feel like the first one kind of fills the room a little more, almost kind of thing, and the second one kind of is almost a little more like shocked. Uh -huh. um, yeah. Yeah. Feel kind of an introspection in Berlioz, like there's this kind of inwardness versus kind of the openness of of the Beethoven, and that's just you know a little bit of what I of what I think. And of course, I know what composers were you know trying to trying to get at with both the piece as well. We're going to have a couple other comparisons too, and what we're going to do is play for you the theme to the Haydn Symphony that we listened to all the way back in September. And we're going to contrast that to the theme or the idée fixe that comes throughout this piece. Idée fixe means fixed idea, and this theme that represents the artist's idealized vision of Harriet Smithson um, that goes throughout the Berlioz. But first, we'll hear the Haydn. about contrast both in terms of literal structural differences and also in the in the affect that these two create
just the structural differences or in, in uh, the feelings that they create. Yes. The first one, um, I don't know if you call it strokes. Call oh, it? yeah, the bow strokes, yeah, articulations like, and things. Yeah, the strokes are a lot shorter mm -hmm. and a lot more rapid, the way they like change. And the second one, the strokes were a lot longer mm -hmm. and um, they kind of went along with the lead type of thing. I thought it was like the first one that like, had a short burst of energy and the other one was kind of like long and drawn out. Yeah, good. What else? Yes. be an emotion that you might hear in that too. Yeah. Yeah. And do you hear how it kind of rises and rises a little more and comes back. And a little bit more and so on. Whereas the the high is very carefully crafted and to for for its intent, very carefully structured as a single high point, these building blocks of the piece or the theme are put together in a certain way create the symmetry of order and control. Um, if we hear that Haydn again, the first little bit, just a first measure, is like this. Followed by the second measure, which is similar. Answered by the other two measures that comes to a high point and a resolution. And that structural simplicity is not there in the bare labels. But what does it do? It creates some more tension and some more drama through that longer line and those different high points, kind of false climaxes, and definitely with the dynamic contrast as well. <clears throat> We're going to play this one more time. And I'm going to play along and play some of the other string parts that add kind of, I think it's the heartbeat um, that, that goes along. And it's irregular. And listen to how that causes a little bit more tension um, as this Ide Fix theme goes along. Thank you. 